Greetings everyone, I'm Kurt. I'm trying a few different things today. So first off, I have a new, I'm doing it in a different room of my apartment because I was getting tired of doing it in my bedroom. And I'm also gonna be giving you my highlights of July thus far. With that said, it's not really so much about what's happened July opposed to what I've been reading and doing in July. Let's start with games. This month I played a fascinating title called Tender Loving Care, a game starring none other an elephant man himself, the English acting legend, John Hurt. In short, it is a full motion video, so for those of you who don't know, it involves real actors and real uh, scenes. I bought this game because it was on sale on good old games for I think like $1.50 a few weeks ago, and all I had to see was this full motion video and then it had John Hurt. I didn't know anything about the game prior to buying it, I just said, it's mine, I have to have this game. Little did I know going into it that, uh, it was essentially, I can't put this any other way, but um, a softcore porn, but as a video game. He plays this disembodied person who is essentially watching a family, um, a husband and wife, try to recover from the loss, uh, from the death of their child. And the wife, who is suffering from PTSD, has kind of created this fantasy that the daughter is still alive. And to help her cope with it, the husband hires this therapist who would be dressed up as a nurse. Like, right off the bat, uh, there's like this really strange sexual tension between the nurse, or should I say therapist, and the husband. I'd, uh, like to change first. Do you wear a nurse's uniform or something? No, but I brought one in this case. It's appropriate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to get started. And then John Hurt is a therapist looking at the situation with you, and in between scenes will come in and ask you true or false or multiple choice questions on what you thought of the scene. Interesting. In most cases, some of the questions are really, really personal, or just you don't even understand the context of them, such as... I have bowel problems. Is masturbation better than sex with another person? Also this month I played What Remains of Edith Finch, which I thought was a fantastic game. Falls in the walking simulator genre without a doubt. I don't want to give too much away from this game. This is definitely a game that you have to experience on your own, but I can't recommend it enough. Moving on to... <laughs> what am I reading this month? Okay, so... First up is... Black Hammer. Jeff Lemire writes this comic book, Dean Ormston does the art, and Dave Stewart does the coloring. If you guys don't know yet, I love Jeff Lemire. It is silly how much I love him. He can pee on paper, and I will buy it. Interesting. <sighs> Jeff Lemire is doing this amazing thing where he's gauging the stereotypes of kind of golden age comic book characters, but adding this emotional weight and depth to them. Arguably this has been done in the past, many times in the past before, especially, especially with writers such as Alan Moore. If anything, I kind of compare Black Hammer to Miracle Man in a sense, that Miracle Man kind of takes the tropes, the stereotypes of superheroes, especially Golden Age superheroes, and humanizes them in very dark, twisted ways. But the difference between Alan Moore and Jeff Lemire is Jeff Lemire has a sense of humanity uh, that Alan Moore tends to miss because I think Alan Moore is a pretty cynical dude and that's expressed in his writing. So going off the Jeff Lemire love train, we also have Royal City. This time around this is actually illustrated and written by Jeff Lemire who has this kind of scribbly, cartoony, crude style but I think it's so distinguishable of him and how he works that anybody can recognize Jeff Lemire's work uh, regardless of whether or not you think it's good. This is more rooted into the work that Jeff Lemire has done in the past. It's very, again, human, but still has the surreal kind of dreamlike element to it that I've always adored. He's just done such a fantastic job of balancing the two. This is Bug uh, being put out by DC or Ger um, Gerard Way's sideline Young Animals, or Young Animal, I'm sorry. So this is, I've only read the first issue, it's out, it's issue three just came out recently. So this comic book's fascinating to me because it's done, written, illustrated, and colored by an entire family. The Alred? 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 Anyways, so usually first, usually I'm not sold on a comic in its first issue, I usually have to read maybe about three to four issues in until I can really have a grasp of how I feel about it. But I gotta tell you, opening this page 
and seeing immediate references to Jack Kirby's New Gods. It's weird, it's bonkers. I don't entirely know what's going on. I'm really excited about it and I wanna know where it's going. Also, because it's kind of relevant, it was talked about today, um, I wanna talk about the new female Doctor Who for a second. So, I am so excited that Jodie Whittaker is gonna be the new Doctor Who for a number of reasons. One, I fucking, I love the show Broadchurch, and I think she kills it in Broadchurch. She is incredible. Two, the episode that she's in for Black Mirror, the entire history of you, and she also was great in Attack the Block. I just, I think she's awesome, and I'm, so excited for a number of reasons that we finally have a female Doctor Who. Of course, it, I, we can't talk about this change without at least mentioning those who are super upset about it. Um, I admit I really have not done my research on those who are upset of it, about it and why they're upset about it, but frankly, I don't really care. I'm under the impression that just give me a good show. I don't give a shit who's playing the Doctor. I don't care who they are, what they are, what they look like. Just give me a good performance. Give me a well-written show. Just give me a good show. And hopefully myself and I hope other fans will be happy. That's all that matters is just give us a good show. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna have this go on too long. I just wanna give this a shot. Um, let me know if you guys liked this or if you would have liked to see more or less of something. I'm still trying to work this one out and this was just kind of an experiment on my end um, to try and create some new content for different people or something. I don't know. That's it. And if there's anything you want to suggest to me, games or comic books in particular, please, please, please uh, shoot a comment and let me know in the comments and stuff and all that and blah, 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 blah.